Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. Of course, this is Comics News Today, and we're going to be covering a lot of interesting news. Uh, very happy to have you guys here with us, as usual. Uh, of course, I'm joined by my panel, and I got another sunny day, two sunny days in a row. It's pretty cool. Uh, very happy to have you guys here uh, flowing in. Do keep in mind, check out all our links down below. Uh, and also, uh, make sure you're part of Fanspeak over on Facebook. Uh, we're having a lot of fun over there. Uh, there's some really cool involvement uh, going on, lots of opinions, reviews, and stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, for, of course, before we jump into our news, let me come over here and say hello to my panel. Uh, we have the m majesty that is the oily one, Mr. Kiwi Booster. It's me, and it's, uh, it's Booster Kiwi on the YouTube and the Twitter. Go subscribe and follow. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was channeling my uh, Yoda. Oh, I see. That's why you got everything wrong. <laughs> How are you doing today, man? Oh, I'm, I'm lovely. I uh, I love being alive, Chester. It's great. Uh, that sounds like sarcasm. Oh. Hmm? Me? Sarcastic? Never. Never. Uh, <laughs> well, definitely happy to have you guys in here. Just do, do us a favor. <clears throat> it looks like the notifications are not popping. Uh, so if I could, uh, guys could hit that share button and let everybody know uh, that we're on and uh, have them come on in here with us. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, but uh, we're also joined by George, the amazing George. How you doing, dude? That's right. That's right. The Canadian mango. The Canadian mango. That just sounds oh, rotten. Mango. Yeah. What? What? You got you got the New Zealand kiwi, and you and and you're and you're saying the Canadian mango is rotten? Are you kidding me? I uh, no, I'm not. It just sounds like something that would rot by the time it got to you. That's all. By the way, we call it kiwi fruit here. Kiwi so fruit. Get, uh -oh. Kiwi fruit. Yeah. it's... So we don't get confused with the bird. It's not just a kiwi over here. Like yeah, fruit. Yeah. It's a kiwi fruit. Kiwi, uh, kiwi, I, fruit. Kiwi, I kiwi, see. fruit. Yeah, yeah, we don't <laughs> care. It's kiwi. Yeah, we don't uh, care. Yeah, we don't care. You keep your stupid little bird. Uh, but uh, <laughs> mangoes. Actually, I used to, uh, when I was in Hawaii, I ran a, um, uh, I ran a, uh, you know, a condo complex. And um, uh, it was like when I was my early jobs I had in Hawaii. And uh, the, it was a huge uh, complex, a big place, a lot of trees. It was really quite nice, actually. A bunch of kind of rich assholes, though. Uh, but nevertheless, um, uh, the, it was surrounded by mango trees, dude. So we had we had mangoes every year for free, as many as you could c c carry, bushels and bushels of them. Uh, I got sick of mangoes, actually. Uh, but, uh, yeah, mangoes. They're messy, by the way. When they fall on the ground, you don't pick them up. They're just bleh, messy, messy. And they stink, too. God. Anyway. Uh, Denali. Hey, dude. How you doing over there? Aloha. I just had a transformer blow up and get cut the tree on fire. Had the police department in front turn, putting that fire out. It's been a wonderful day. Wow. Wow. What, what, what caused that? Uh, lightning struck it. Sweet. Lightning's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fire. Fire. Burning. And and I'm happy to continue on with working on the Immortal Mass. Everything's going along great. So I uh, have the link down below, denaliscomic at gmail.com. Tell me to put me on your newsletter, and I will do so. It'll be awesome. Can't wait to show you as we're progressing along. Sweet, dude. Bah, bah. Um, you know, speaking of lightning, I actually got knocked down by lightning once. I didn't get hit by it, uh, but it hit close enough. It seems like it was too far away, but uh, I mean, it, it was it wasn't a hundred meters; it was less than that. But uh, but that stuff's powerful, dude. Literally knocked me off my feet. Dude, we felt it. My bone was shaking when we heard it. Yeah. It's like, boom. I'm like, whoa! What the heck was that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we also um, we got a bunch of people coming in here, which is awesome. Uh, we got Roger Heller. Uh, always happy to have him. We got Eric Hawkins. He said, I got my notifications. Other might uh, uh, might be too busy fighting on Twitter to come in. Yeah, what are they fighting about something, dude? Every day there's something going on. What the hell's the uh, what is all the uh, the scuttlebutt going on on Twitter today? I mean, we don't pay much attention to <laughs> no it. No comment. <laughs> no comments. So stay away from it. Okay. He's oh, saying, yeah. I have uh, quite it. a cough at the moment, Chester. Oh, okay. Let's move on. <laughs> we got Adrian yeah. uh, over here. He says, What's going on, everybody? Nice to see you, Adrian. Uh, Lorenzo Sleestack. Sle Sle awesome. I love that name. Hey, nice to see you, dude. Um, Thundero's in here. He says, Decepticons. <laughs> okay pixel says and i still i still hate the new layout for twitter that they put on there they, right right they purposely did it to irritate us yeah 
We got Pixel Trader, Trader in here. He says, you've been Thunderstruck. Uh, yeah, no, Thunderstruck! Dude. That's a great song, dude. Uh, but um, nah, Thunder's really powerful, dude. I, 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 it's something you I'll remember forever. I mean, luckily, I wasn't really hurt or anything like that. But um, yeah, knocked me right off. Of, knocked us all off our feet. We were having the... Um, uh, we were having a football practice. It was just, uh, you know, we were just practicing the field, getting ready for the uh, uh, Friday night game, uh, and uh, knocked most of us down. It was, uh, it was creepy. Uh, Pixel Trader says, uh, had lightning strike inside my apartment complex when I lived in Texas, flickered my lights and made me curl into a fetal position. Yeah, it, it, it is, it is kind of a shock oh to God. you, but uh, I just was surprised how powerful the the force of the wave is oh, you know? it's kind of a shock is it even i would not even say that yeah, it's on. pretty low it is pretty low. <laughs> yeah. oh no <laughs> oh well george um uh have you ever had a lightning experience it seems to be what we're talking about uh, I, I've, I've had an electrifying experience before see yeah. see that's how, that's how you do it <laughs> okay, you've uh, been educated. I've been outpunned by the Punisher. There yes. you go. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, God, that that one hurt my that hurt my pinky, dude. What are you doing? Um, well, Booster, that, that that was a that was a perfect ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Eric says more to the legend of Chester struck by lightning and threw it back at uh, God. No, I wasn't struck by lightning. It hit about I don't know seventy eighty meters away from us. But uh, uh, yeah, it was weird, dude. Um, but I'm sure many people have had some kind of similar experiences. Lightning is uh, a lot more powerful than you think it is. Because usually when you see lightning, it's so far away from me, you know. But um, anyway, um, a Twitter trash. Uh, Twitter is trash. Yes, it is, Eric. I, I have no clue. You guys know I don't pay attention to that stuff. But I'm sure they're having wonderful fun over there bashing each other in the head. So, yay. Uh, anyway, we do have a lot of news to get to. So I want to I want to jump into as quick as possible, actually, today. Because uh, you guys mm -hmm. do know we have the fan edition, uh, which we have Mary Sue on today. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we already talked to the creator of Mary Sue here on this channel, of course. Uh, had a great interview with him. A great conversation list, actually. And uh, <clears throat> some of the best feet I've ever seen in a comic book, actually. It was pretty sexy. Uh, but uh, we'll see how that goes today on the uh, Drone and Quartered. Uh, but uh, we definitely want to get ourselves uh, into our news today. All right, let me do this. I'm sharing. See? Sharing is caring, everybody. Ride the light. Sharing and caring. Oh, no. And we're starting off with this. Go ahead, Denali. All right. From uh, the... Which one is this? A deadline or this deadline? Can't yeah. Tell. Yeah, deadline. Yeah. yeah. From deadline, from deadline, the Hitchhiker Guides to the Galaxy TV series in the work being developed for Hulu. Uh, from Carlton Cuse and Jason Fuse. All right. Well, from, I don't know these guys yeah. offhand. Well, well, why should I know these guys? Because they're JJ's boys. Ah, uh, they're bad robot guys. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I personally, uh, I read. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the book. Um, and then mm -hmm. I remember there was a movie that came out that I saw way after it came out, actually. It was all right. Um, I thought it was a fine book. It, it was a real hot topic in the 80s. Everyone was on about The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I thought it was all right. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but um, hey, you know, it's all right. Uh, but uh, a TV series at Hulu, uh, it, it's the type of um, story that uh, lends itself to you could tell all kind of little anthology stories, I guess, uh, from that um, that point of view. Uh, what about you, George? You're certainly old enough to to know the Hitchhiker's Guide. Uh, what do you think about this? Uh, uh, this news is like getting hit with a lemon wrapped around a brick. Oh goodness gracious! So not interested at all, huh? Uh, no, uh, there, there's there's no way they'll do it justice. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, the, uh, they're uh, J.J. Abrams. And his buddy's track record is complete disregard for the source material. And uh, I don't see this being any different. The only, the only problem is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is, is not a book that's just for the geeks. It's also for the normals, so to speak. Mm -hmm. it's, it saturated the world many times over in multiple it languages. It did. Yeah. And if, if these guys do it wrong, they're they're going to have a hundred percent of the audience out there really upset. Even the normal person will, is going to notice a poorly put together uh, production. 
Yeah, yeah we but don't want I, 43. Well, no. You, oh, my God. How dare you mention that on this channel? Um, but, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I don't know that a lot of the younger people know the Hitchhiker's Guide, dude. Uh, like I said, in the 80s, it was it was the, it was was the a big thing, right? But I don't know about the young people, but I, 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 I certainly give them a chance. Uh, Coos here was on Lost, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, Lock and Key. Okay, uh, and uh, Fuchs was on Wonder Woman, which was a fine uh, Ice Age Continental Drift, uh, which I think my kids and I watched. Um, so they do have some ability here. Um, I don't know. It's a, a hails from a H, uh, ABC signature, um, uh, which somehow is connected to. Uh, uh, well, ABC, of course, is owned by Disney. Disney owns Hulu. I guess mm -hmm. it's all uh, it's all incestual. Uh, but yep. um yeah, no, uh, I don't know if there's much to say other than when it comes out, we can talk about it, I think, is really the, the, the main thing on this one. Uh, they're talking about another Adams TV series adaptations was uh, Dick uh, Gen uh, Dirk, excuse me, uh, Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. Now, that had a lot of painful uh, uh, SJW crap in it, but it also was fun, though. Uh, did you guys see uh, Dirk Gently at all? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it... Yeah, I agree. It was uh, it was painful. It had some painful stuff, but it also had some good stuff. We also have some reference here from them for uh, Jack Ryan, which is all right. Uh, Bates Motel, which was quite well received. Uh, the Strain, which I enjoyed uh, that, but that was uh, Del Toro as, uh, as well was involved with that. The Colony, which I haven't seen, and The Returned, which was was kind of lame. Uh, but um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, Pan, I still see you. It's a weird combination. This team, uh, you got someone who's doing more kids stuff, and then you have someone who's doing a more uh, absolutely adult stuff. It's a strange combination, particularly seeing as the Hitchhiker is not for kids for sure. Hmm. Right, but it has the sensibility of Doctor Who, where it can be well, it could. very adult, adult, but more, but then it can be very. Um, childish at times, so they need that flavor. No, what about you, Bushi? You ever seen the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Uh, uh I watched the movie once. <clears throat> okay, so you haven't read the book. <laughs> I've never read the book, but I do have a problem with Americans writing anything English related, they just do not get subtle English humor. No, I'd imagine we wouldn't. Uh, but then again, we think mm. uh, the British are a bunch of fools, so uh, we do it better anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just okay, uh, hey, raise your hands, anyone who thinks they're going to be able to execute dry humor as well as Douglas Adams. Oh, well, <laughs> we don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, these guys do have some credentials under their belt. I mean, they are not uh, newbies, and we see a lot of times they just throw newbies in for some for no reason. Uh, and the fact that they're, uh, they do have some credentials, they're not um, – uh, and this is another problem that comes out of this whole uh, um, uh, get woke uh, industry that's going on. Uh, every time we do see a female that's put in charge of stuff, we have to wonder, okay, is this a, uh, uh, is this a charity hire or is this person actually skilled? That's a problem, right? They've created this issue for us. Uh, because in the past, if a woman was on a project, I didn't make any assumptions. I assumed she was there because she was the right person for the job. Uh, but these days, they've they've screwed that up. Uh, so that's at least one bonus. I don't really have to think whether these guys have the ability to do it because they, they, have, they have credentials. Whether I like it or not is another conversation. It is kind of sad that they've created that environment, though, I think, for women, actually. Yeah, you see that guy on the right, though? Look into his eyes. Here's the here's the dead black eyes of a shark. He does. He does. That's terrifying. And he's got mm -hmm. that exact uh, you know uh, soy boy look. He does. The other guy, he's just like, oh Don't god, you worry I'm about still me. alive. I'm not a predator. I'll take <laughs> good care of you. Oh goodness gracious! I'll make sure you're protected. <laughs> yeah, Eric says I didn't read the book. The movie was okay. It wasn't horrible. Oh, the book's much better. Uh, I thought the movie was okay. Um, it just, uh, that's the reason why it didn't become a classic or anything like that, because it was just okay. The movie, the book is good though. I don't know how many people read anymore. Do you know how to read booster? I read a book once. There you go. It didn't have there enough you... pictures in it. There you so go. I stuck with comics. There you go. Uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Um, uh, it could be cool. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. Uh, it's not something I expected. I, mean, I was sitting there reading this book and I was like, where are the guys in their undies punching each other in space? This is ridiculous. Right. Exactly. How dare books They're just be, whining uh, about their feelings. Yes. Yes. That's very, very true. Uh, oh, did no. The book, did the, was the book titled Depends? Oh, God. <sighs> see what I have to deal with, folks. This is what I have been burdened with. I'm, I must be paying for some past sins. I don't know. Denali. <laughs> yes. 
All right. So from Bounty Hunter Comics, Jonathan Hickman's House of X number one. What does this mean for the X-Men? Uh, so basically the first issue of House of X is um, coming in and people are generally liking what Jonathan Hickman is. They can see that there's a lot of world building elements to the story. And I'm kind of excited because we can, we, we've read a lot of uh, Jonathan Hickman's stories and we know he's a very serious writer that puts a lot of thoughts in his work. And he's adding yeah. Omega level uh, mutants as well. I hear. No, he's, he's removing Omega levels. I thought and, he was and, adding as well. No, not at this moment of time. So who is he no, removing he, then? Uh, that's a question then. Cro, uh, he, Krakoa, this is the living island, right? Right. Um, so basically, he's saying he's making a new criteria for Omega levels. Mm -hmm. uh, so because everybody was becoming Omega level, he's like, no, stuff enough with that crap. And say, if you don't meet these criteria, then you're not Omega level. And he kind of flushed everybody out except for 14 characters. So it it's only to it. Yeah, so only once those 14 characters are gone or dead, it's when another Omega character can become Omega. So what about oh, Iceman? I see. Iceman is Omega. Why? But, what makes uh, him Omega? Because he's the strongest elemental force of ice in the world. Nice. Well, they got a list here. Uh, we got oh, Jamie we Braddock, Mr. M, Iceman, Hope Summers, Elixir, Vulcan, Jean Grey, Franklin Richards. He he's another category above Omega. Actually, that's you know Legion yeah. is another one that's another level above. Quentin Choir, mm -hmm. Magneto, Exodus, Proteus, and Storm. Uh, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And right. that's it. That's all the Omegas. All right. Well, we'll see where it goes with this. He sounds like he's trying to clean house a little bit. Uh, which it desperately needs it, um, for sure, because of all the nonsense that's been going on. We'll see how he does. Um, <clears throat> but the, I guess the more important question, other than his his uh, housekeeping he's doing, is it uh, is it fun, though? Is it interesting, what he's doing? I haven't read the book yet. There's a lot of layers. Kind of like how the Black Monday murders, there's a lot of story in there. Well, that's a great book, though. Yes, he's going that deep. Oh, good. Cool. So, so it's going to be cool, but it's going to be hard for people who don't like to read Booster. Anyways. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Why, why are you guys bully me? <laughs> <laughs> why, am I, uh, why am I being bullied? Adrian says he's kind of getting the Ezra vibe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm, Off of that mm -hmm. dude. That's why Booster was uh, attracted to him. That's why. Yeah, but that's when you need to wash yourself. Oh, God. Uh, Pixel <laughs> says he listened to the audiobook. Ah, oh, that's fine. Uh, some audiobooks are a lot of fun, actually. I actually yeah. watched, uh, listened to the, uh, well, as I was working, I listened to the Cimmerillion uh, on audiobook, which is a lot of audiobook uh, uh, volumes to listen to. Uh, but it actually was really good because I've read that a couple times in my life, but I actually got uh, even more out of it listening to the audio. So you, you ever read the uh, Cimmerillion uh, booster? Okay. Nope. The, the, the silence is deafening. Uh, any of you guys read the Cimmerillion? Am I the only, only one brave enough to delve into that? Was that a book that was finished by his son or something like that? Yeah, it was finished by his son. Uh, of course, that's a Tolkien book. It's a, like a prequel to The Lord of the Rings. Uh, uh, it tells about how the world was created. It's uh, kind of biblical. But then again, uh, Tolkien's whole purpose was to recreate uh, the uh, Anglo-Saxon, uh, um, you know, uh, mythologies and you know, and cosmologies. Because, you know, when the Normans came in a thousand years ago, they kind of wiped that out, right? Uh, a lot of the Anglo-Saxon people were either killed off or their stuff was put to the side. So he was kind of trying to recreate it was his intention. Uh, so this, uh, the Cimmerillion is more like the Bible in a way. Uh, so a lot of people don't want to touch it. But um, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, and, but the audiobook was great. Adrian said he loved the Cimmerillion. So did I, dude. Yeah. How you doing, Todd? I'm doing great. We are talking about Jonathan Hickman, man, and uh, his new House of X. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of buzz about this. Hmm. So we'll see. You know, it's got a lot of pre-buzz that's just industry stuff, but we'll see how it goes. Well, I think a lot of people are hoping that Hickman will tighten things up and kind of clean up a bunch of the stupid nonsense that's been going on. It sounds like he's starting to, so that's good. Yeah, and, and I wonder how far they'll take, we'll let him take it. I mean, because don't we have like two sets of X-Men and regular continuity? No, they turn, they, 
they cancel every book. That was one of his conditions. So oh. all the so all the X Men titles has been canceled. Only Hickman is writing X Men at this time. Oh wow! So Hickman's coming in heavy, man. Uh, we'll see because mm-hmm. the X Men desperately need to be saved because they've been absolutely just you know turned into toilet paper Dreadful. recently. Uh, so that's good to hear, dude. I'm, this is all positive stuff. It's awesome. Let's right. hope they get the best of the best artists that they have because they have put some good and some weak, really weak artists on some X books lately. Yeah, you know, and well, that's in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree a hundred percent, dude. And uh, the thing with it is, is we know there's a lot of great artists out there. I mean, just look at this community. Uh, but yet they keep putting these absolute crap people on. I mean, just the other day we were covering the launch of the uh, the new female turtle uh, from IDW, Ninja Turtle, and uh, the perspective on that was way off. It's like, what the hell, you know? Uh, it's like we're going back to the 90s, right? In the 90s, there was so much crap that came out. And one of the things that I noticed regularly in the 90s was just the absolute inability for people to draw perspective. Um, and uh, uh, this is something that's been reoccurring recently. Uh, so, you know, other than also sometimes we get just wonky everything. Uh, yeah, the art, uh, the art quality at Marvel is really, really poor. I don't like the, the uh, a bit of art we're seeing now, but if you could scroll down for me, Chester. Sure. We saw a few panels earlier, which I hope is the in the interiors of the book. This looks quite good. Yeah, it's all right, but I'm mean, look at the first panel. Look at her face in the first panel. The second yeah, panel the, with her is fine, yeah. but the first one's crap. That's no good. Yeah, it's a bit crap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he and got then, a nice but, background there, and yeah. Yeah, but look at him though. His body proportions are not right. It's not accurate. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, his head is huge, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, it's not his accurate at all, dude. Oh uh, no. Uh, I mean. Uh, uh, let's come down here. Um, this looks quite okay, good. This looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once again, what's uh, what's going on with this face? I mean, it's it's okay, but it's not good enough. It's not good enough for Marvel. Oh, God, it's Ellen Page's forehead. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's a uh, Ellen <laughs> Page's forehead. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this looks fine. Okay, you gotta you gotta uh, appreciate how much detail went into making that head. That that's yeah, no, that's really good. Um, this face is fine. Uh, Magneto looks good. Perspective that, here cool. looks fine. That's, yeah, that's really cool. That's good stuff. Now, is this 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 is the same artist though? So what we're seeing is very inconsistent uh, 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 ability. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's a problem, dude. It is a problem. Uh, it's, you know, professionalism. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that not every book that came out in the 60s, 70s, 80s, etc. were perfect. Of course they're not. But uh, it's Marvel, man. It should be the, the absolute upper tier. And there should be editors that are like, nope, do it again. Nope, do it again. Right? Yeah, we've seen that. We've seen, uh, I can't remember who it was, but it was some artist for hire who was packing a bit of a tantrum because dc made him edit a superman picture a lot right mm-hmm. well and he's like marvel almost never asked for edits i said like, that's the problem with the yeah. comic industry that's they're right. not editing you at marvel well now uh, and Todd... you guys pack a tantrum when you're told to edit yeah which is ridiculous now todd here of course is a professional artist now uh todd uh, how often have you had people come back and say do it again <laughs> uh, um <laughs> well come on okay. it's part of the job right no yeah it, it no malin did it and um uh, mike Barron is editing you know himself so he's having me do certain things over again that's the and florida it's not man so much logic, about, right? yeah and it's not so much like you're saying like, oh this face is a little wonky or whatever you know depending on what what size you're going on but it's it's more of story driven and because i'm not dealing with iconic characters you, you get a lot of that with iconic characters one yeah, of a certain canon way. Now, yeah being ch- on right, model yeah if, yeah if you choose say uh, ed mcginnis to draw superman you know he's going to be a derivative of what you know as superman because he's kind of a bloopy big muscles kind of a guy you know what i mean mm-hmm. what way he draws so you you take what you get there's only so much you could go oh that doesn't look like canon to a guy who's stylized like that it's when you get these guys who draw sort of realism or or somewhat realism um that you want a certain look out of them so you try to keep everything on model Uh, so you get a lot of that but you know most most editing is story-wise this just doesn't work it doesn't help the story flow or whatever um that makes sense yeah, so uh, I can understand the leniency with the bad, somewhat bad anatomy or bad faces or whatever, but 
it, your story should work. And I don't think uh, you look at certain current comics coming out of uh, Marvel <clears throat> and the story flow is really that well. You know, I don't yep. think it really That's true. is practiced. But it's also the starting point, right? I mean, because with you, now I, I'm sure you've made mistakes here or there, but I've seen a lot of your art and your anatomy is spot on. Your perspective is spot on. Right. So you're already starting with a professional who is, you know, uh, already capable of doing it right. So you start from there and then an editor keeps it online. The problem is we're seeing a lot of these artists who are not ready. That's really what it is. They're not ready to be in the big the big game, the big show. A lot of that is the the editor himself isn't ready. He was a yeah. intern four months ago or he's these like you're talking about these sort of uh, glamour hires or whatever you want to call yep. them for. uh and, and they don't really have the experience to know, like, hey, you're you're to be hard on the guy, but not, you know, just let everything pass. You know what I mean? You're right. you're, you're being somewhat. You're being hard on the person, the artist, for the better results you can get. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, okay, this 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 page here, this page here was good. Let's let's kick it up a notch. And sometimes you're just glad handing his your way to the best quality you can get out of that guy. Yeah, no, I and agree. there's a bit of mentoring there. You know, that was what what didn't happen on Graveyard Shift. There really wasn't any mentoring, but there was a lot of this isn't right, this isn't right, this isn't right. It's, <laughs> so it's, it's a, tricky. You know? It's a fair point, though, dude. You do need someone who's going to say it isn't right, but you also need someone who is mentoring the project. That's a very good point. That's why editors are usually older people. Uh, because they're they have experience and they have the ability to manage. Uh, when you have a bunch of editors that are basically running around to, more interested in talking about uh, uh, milkshakes and uh, showing off their tits, uh, you know you're not going to get a really good quality thing, right? And that's a problem. And uh, yeah, yeah, I said it. Come at me. Um, you know. <laughs> uh, but uh, I see Jimmy Ortiz is in here. Nice to see you, dude. He come by to give us a like. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I would do appreciate that. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that like button as well. It certainly helps us. Uh, but uh, uh, sharing out for live streamers is certainly the best. Uh, it's like reading and the bell notification. Right. Oh, the bell notification. That's right. Uh, let's yeah. see. Uh, Charlie uh, McNeil is in here. He says, hello, everybody. Thunder says, just give me a proper Storm and Wolvie, and I'm happy. Storm should be a uh, main player for them. Uh, she's everything they could want, and everyone likes Storm. True. Uh, people saying hello. Uh, Jim Shooter. Yeah, Jim Shooter was a hard hardball guy, but uh, uh, he got the job done. That's true. Uh, but then again, we also ended up getting freaking Rob Liefeld. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I like Romero's art. It's a little weird, but uh, it is consistent. Well, I don't know. Is this Romero art I'm looking at? Because it's not consistent. Um, uh, let me see here. Uh, for example, uh, if if I was to draw a comic right now, I would have to draw, redraw the whole thing because I would improve to the point where the first and last page would be unrecognizable. Oh, well, that's that's not that's not good, right, uh, John? Uh, let's see here. Uh, Thundera says, ah, Mike Barron. I love that guy. Yeah, we all love Mike. Uh, uh, John continues, says, wait, is that guy swinging on a, on a tire? It looks like he is. Because, you know, he's wacky zany. It's wacky zany time. Uh, physics They're throw so out the silly. window. Huh? They're just so silly. They are, right? Oh, my God. They have, like, <laughs> superpowers, but that's what they do. What's so strange? Oh, goodness. Uh, anyway, let's move on. You know what? I think it's time to watch a trailer. We're deep enough. We're going to watch a trailer. I'm going to get in trouble for it. Let's see if we get in trouble for yes. it. Uh, let's see. Zombie Land Zombie Double Tap struck. Official Trailer. Uh, now, let's look, let's, let's look at this here. We got Woody Harrelson, who is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we My have man. this the this this Jew guy over here. I don't know who he is. We Whoa. Got the, <laughs> uh, we, we got the... Uh, it's kind the of, Eisenberg. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we got the kind of looker girl. Then we have the, the no neck uh, shrunk up thing, whatever this is over here. Uh, maybe she'll die early. Um, anyway, this is a is this a TV show or a, just a new movie? The new a, movie. This is Zombie okay. Land 2. Uh, that was Emma Stone, and I don't know who that other girl was. That was the little girl. That was the sister. Oh, look, it's the trailer for the trailer. I'm so excited. Yep. Oh, We're gonna have no. To pause. You just took that straight out of Gladiator. What are you doing, uh, Jesse Eisenberg? Yeah. What is what is what is a what is a Jesse Eisenberg? Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> not not uh, not the loose, not the Lex Luthor. Uh, yeah, that would be Lenny Luthor. Lenny Luthor. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. the idiot from uh, um, the uh, Batman versus Superman movie. 
Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah this it was guy. also very famous for doing that. Um, for playing Mark Zuckerberg in that one movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I network. didn't care about that so, at all. That was boring. That was boring trash. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that's where trash. he got the Academy Award. Absolutely. Oscar yeah. bait. Yeah, Absolute Oscar, Oscar bait. bait. Now, I, of course, I know who Jesse Eisenberg is, but he's lame and boring. And he's mm-hmm. so full of himself. This guy is so full of himself. I can't stand this little. It's this like little the twirl. only movie where he's entertaining, at, but that's because he gets some entertainment value being around Woody Harrelson. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, Woody's kind of fun, actually. Woody's been around forever. He's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> and Mr. Thunder says this Jew guy, Chester, not giving a fudge. Twenty nineteen. Well, he is a Jew guy. <laughs> Look at him. I said that on the Stranger, the Stranger Things. I was like, look at all these Jew kids. What's going on with these Jew kids, man? I mean, is, is, is the world only Jew? I mean, come on. You're telling me about diversity, right? But then you throw something at me, and everybody's a Jew kid except for the black boy. Right? All and right, he's guys, probably thanks Jew for anyway. showing up. Uh, thanks for being cool. Yeah, we got 744 subscribers. We had a lot of fun along the way. Too bad we couldn't make it a whole year. Couldn't make it to a thousand subs. Official end of the channel. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fine. Moving on. <laughs> guys, so sensitive. There he is. I don't know who you are. I have no clue who you are. But you got a gun. Yeah, I'm glad you could find makeup in the zombie apocalypse. It's really good for you. I'm happy for you. Okay, typical <laughs> slow motion yeah, crap. Don't make those arguments, uh, Chester. That's the one for making. Next, they'll be saying, uh, "Why aren't oh, there armpit of, shades?" Of course, they're coming to the White House. Of oh, course, God. they are. Hey, possum Asia. <laughs> Sorry, just mm-hmm. you in that chair. I think I would have made a damn fine president. You would have brought a real dignity to the office. You're welcome, America. Wrong picture. I don't think the Washington Welcome would be in that goodness, goodness. office. Life is about more than just survival. <sighs> Why would the interior be so beautiful and clean like this when the outside is covered in vines? I mean, in creepers. I mean, why, what? Why? Why are you deconstructing a zombie land trailer? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not. Uh, it could be fun. The first one was fine. First one, his hunt for the Twinkie was pretty, pretty awesome. I thought. Uh, but um, mm-hmm. you, you're, you guys realize this is going to be so ultimately woke, right? You know oh, it well, is, dude. You can only hope not. That was a waste of a grenade. I'm telling Susan Chester. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, dude. I, I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't have no problem with Jews. I mean, I've met one or two in my life, I'm sure. <laughs> So culture, Chester. So culture. The Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> Yay, Twister. I really like for you to stop. Oh my God! Stop and look. What is this? What is this? It's like a. It's like a. Is it a dwarf without a beard? I'm not sure. Damn, she's ugly, man. Poor girl. Poor girl. You know. But if you like that, rock on. But, you know, uh, Thunder was talking about wasting her grenade, but I think I found a place for one. Okay. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> it felt so good to be on the move again. Yeah. It, 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 this Emma Stone girl, I know I've seen her in other things, but it's like um, she feels so out of place here, though. I don't know what it is. I mean, ser- I'm joking around before, but uh, seriously, she seems out of place for some reason. You guys know why? Because that's a bath. Bed and Beyond store? No. I'm... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Columbus. All right, I couldn't tell you. This is Tallahassee. Hey, Paul Blart. Is this your dad? Uh-oh, they found another girl. They did. She's going to get in trouble. But she's a little oh, ditzy so blonde chick. I told her yes. Just her. She's a ditzy blonde. Yay. And are there more? You're cute. I like it. Boy, going to make the other girl Sister's jealous. Coming. She yep. looked at the boy. He's from Berkeley. Berkeley. You don't have weed. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. Again. Again. <laughs> just punching me in the head. What the? Eric, why do we I'll have to have these giant Mr. head? Female top well, we, the giant head, giant jaw thing. You know, are they yeah. trying? No, I'm serious. Here in the movies and TVs, we're getting a lot of this look, this this giant oh, head, no. jaw, face thing. Are they trying to basically uh, androgenize the, the, uh, uh, the um, silver screen? Is this what they're trying to do? I hope not. You pause at the absolute worst moment. Look at that face. <laughs> I know, dude. I got skills, baby. Uh, all right, continue on. He's prettier oh, than her, no. dude. He's prettier than her. That's not right. Yeah. This that's not right. Right? I guess unless you're booster, and then you're happy. Person that would have weed. I'm sorry. Boom. 
Yeah. I have nothing against you. Oh, so weed, Lameo. Uh -huh. We're gonna go get her. We ride at dawn. We ride at dawn. I don't know what this, this seems like Stop a chaotic mess. You first. Oh, it's Rosario Dawson. Uh, oh, oh. Die zombie. Well, Woody looks good. He's got a great ECDC song, too. Which is probably what's going to get us in trouble, actually, I bet you. I don't like you. At all. I think you double parked. Omar, perpendicular parked. Hope we don't get a ticket. What is going on here? What? Hello, everyone. Am I hallucinating? What? It's Wait a second. Because he <laughs> it looks like this. Huh? Jonah did already made that joke. Oh yeah, well, you know, Hollywood doesn't isn't have any originality left anymore. Uh, just go look at Alex Kurtzman. <laughs> okay, uh, fine. Um, he died a little bit inside. I know <laughs> he's prettier than her. Just her 2019. Uh, she's been in a bunch of movies. I don't care. Uh, she exists so Emma Stone can make fun of blondes. Uh, also, I think she's there to try to help Emma look a little better because uh, Emma's not looking so hot right now. Uh, of course, the Hispanic one looks dude. Uh, uh, looking dude was uh, has weed. <laughs> I don't. Of course, uh, I mean you. Uh, usually, my image would be a bunch of uh, white uh, hippie dudes with weed, actually. But then again, Cheech and Chong. Everyone, I just mentioned Cheech and Chong. Okay, all hail. Moment of silence. Cheech and Chong. We have to bow. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, but um. I, I guess I, I guess I'm the only one here old enough to get the Cheech and Chong reference. All right, fine. I, I know I know who Cheech and Chong are, Chester. Yeah, but I you just, didn't I've get the joke. Seen, I know of them. You didn't get the joke though. I, I didn't. Uh, you didn't. Uh, I didn't either. <laughs> yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> the cops and they get the hands up and uh, and they said, "Dude, it's Cheech and Chong," and everyone starts bowing. <sighs> Whatever. Fine. Moving on. I'm moving on. Chester, stop being a sexist, misogynist pig. <laughs> <Brad help says. laughs> All hail Chichi Chong, baby. You're right, Pixel. Uh, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, <laughs> that was a lot of fun doing the trailer, though. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'll watch it. Yeah. I mean, the first one was yeah, fine. It's a fun movie. It's not, you know, you can't take something like that too serious. You know? No, you it's can't. Yeah. To... Yeah. yeah. But that chick was yeah. ugly. I don't care what anybody says. That's an ugly chick. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is it she was like 12 in the last bloody movie was she yeah, yeah that's uh -huh. okay yeah you know sometimes see that's a problem right it's kind of like um, that 11 girl from the first season of stranger things which was okay and it's gotten worse every season after uh but she got ugly uh and then you got the two girls from a game of thrones they were kind of cutish when they were young but then they got really ugly uh you can't help it yeah. they're kid actors it, it, it is what it is you know it is what it is Oh, well. Uh, the girl's 23 now. She's fair game. Uh, I'm not interested. Yeah. No, I mean in picking on her. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I don't really care. I mean, she can. Uh, she doesn't have to be beautiful, especially the uh, the little shadow girl. Um, uh, she's she's just a little assassin thing. She doesn't have to be pretty at all. Uh, Denali, go ahead, dude. Oh, so all sad. right. <laughs> From Bleeding Cool, DC Comics or DC Universe cancels order on Stargirl by Jeff Johns. Oh. oh. No, this is talking so, about the TV series, right? Yeah, right. Mm. That's why I had to correct it, because they did it wrong. It's, T it's DC Universe. Yeah, right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Bleeding Cool. Do better than that. Uh, but, uh, yeah. yeah, no, uh, I was kind of like, oh, cool, let's check it out, because it's going to have Giant Robot, right? Uh, and uh, this girl's kind of got that truncated form and a truncated head as well. Uh, but uh, but still, I was like, oh, it might be all right. You know, uh, Star Girl could be fun, especially because I was really looking forward to the giant robot. But I guess it's done now. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. I got to check. Is it the same girl? It might be. Zombie? It kind of looks familiar. But she's got that scrunched up head and scrunched up neck and stuff like that. No, it is not. No. Okay. Uh, but, um, you know, some people like that, I guess. But uh, like I said, I was more interested in the robot. You know, I'd be, I'll see what mm -hmm. they do with that. And, uh, with CG I just that. think it's a real shame because uh, this character is based off of uh, Jeff John's now deceased sister. Oh. And so I'd imagine this would have been like quite a passion project for him. So it is a real shame that it's all canceled now. Hmm. 
Uh, he's working with Lee Motor on the uh, DC Star Girl, uh, uh, starring Breck Bassinger. I thought she looked like a Bassinger. All right, there you go. Uh, as Courtney mm-hmm. Whitmore, uh, it is due to uh, be broadcast next year, uh, and it is possible for that reason that DC Comics has decided to cancel all orders for the planned Star Girl by uh, Jeff Johns collection. Plan. Oh, okay. They didn't cancel the TV show. They canceled the. Uh, the collection of Jeff John stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, could it be that orders were a little bit on the low side? Da, 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 da. Hold off until the TV show. So, so the TV show still coming. Okay, I totally oh, okay. misunderstood yeah, that. I was just trying to time it better. I, yeah, I completely off. misunderstood that. All right, so I'm happy right. again. I want to see Giant Robot. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she's a bass singer. There you go. That's why she looks familiar. She's a younger bass singer. Who's a, who's a bass singer? You know, Batgirl. Uh, I'm looking it up. Okay, you go look no, it up. No, Vicky Vale. Vicky yeah. Vale. Uh, for the best, Johns is a terrible producer. Ooh, okay, all right. Uh, added 10 new creators to Indycron a few minutes ago. Awesome, Pixel. That is good to hear, dude. Um, uh, he's, uh, uh, Indie Crown's still going strong, guys. Uh, if you guys, uh, want to go find out what's going on in the Indie, uh, revival world, definitely go check out Indie Crown. Uh, but, uh, all right, we'll just wait and see there. I'm glad I read that again, though, because I thought at first they were just talking about, uh, uh, dropping the, the show, but they're not, so I'm happy. Okay. Uh, let's move on here. Oh, my goodness. What's going on with this, Denali? From Scream Rant, Captain Marvel just watched the world turn against her. <laughs> Send okay. her back. Send her back. They found out she's part alien. We don't like it. Legal aliens here. Send Go her first, back. baby. Okay, warning. Spoilers for Captain Marvel 8. Uh, number okay, 8. Everybody, spoilers. Spoilers. About Captain Marvel 8, leave immediately. Because spoilers. we're going to be uh, talking about it a wee bit, okay? Yeah, spoilers. Right, okay. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> Captain Marvel is quickly becoming the world's most hated hero in Marvel's universe. I wonder if they're projecting here. Uh, and it's seriously <laughs> starting to kill her spirit. Knowing that she isn't wanted by humanity has her looking for a change. And now that Carol has been offered a new life, she might, she just might take it and leave Earth behind forever. Dude, they are projecting. They are projecting. <laughs> no one wants me, and now I'm going to have to leave. Maybe then people will appreciate me now that I'm gone. Now, hold on a second. Uh, have they actually changed her origin Marvel Comics and they're going with a movie that her mother is a Kree warrior? Have they done this? Yes. Yes. You idiots. We, we, re- we reported that, that they were doing another recon, a tie-in, uh, new origin for the movie. Idiots. I I, yeah. I I cannot I still can't believe they didn't take the opportunity to do the love story between uh, Carol Danvers and Marvel. I mean that would have been a that could have been a great movie, dude. Mm. Uh, but oh no no they've killed that 100 percent now. No she's Cree now. She's all Cree baby. All right fine. Whatever you idiots, uh, you're obviously you. projecting. Look at this. Look at this nonsense that is so projecting. Uh, I see you. You bastards. Remember that Captain Marvel uh, is a fascist and locks people up without evidence. It's true. It's Just true. a reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they've ruined the character, dude. They, I mean, uh, Miss Marvel used to be fun, but they've they've killed it. And how many times did they rebranded issue number one? I mean, at oh least four times, right? No, we're yeah, at tr- number times 11. The last 10 years. Yeah, no, yeah. dude. It's, you know, they, dude it's, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. At least they it's got her looking like a woman now. Well, they're being gradually turned. Every time they reboot it, it gets closer and closer to the original. Yeah, exactly. Trusted. Yeah, know, she's supposed to. Well, you know, no one wants uh, Carl Manvers. No one wants that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's kind of useless news. Uh, let's move over to something else. Uh, I mean, well, these idiots, though. Not, Jesus. Well. No, because you know what's going to happen is this is going to be a storyline for the movies, probably, and and that's where they're we're going to enter the all female Guardians of the Galaxy, which is such a dumb thing to do. Uh, I mean, I know because of the twist in Endgame, we have Gamora back, I guess, Um, 
I suppose, although it kind of contradicts their own logic, but whatever. Uh, but the thing is, in the Guardians of the Galaxy, you had Nebula is the twitchy one, you had Gamora is the logical, you know, straight line one, and the all, all the men were comic relief. It's like, uh, so where's your comic relief going to come from? The women? Huh. All right. Well, unless Sir Joan Rivers, uh, I, I won't be laughing. No, it's going to be a, it's going to be actual train wreck, and people are going to be where the hell is everybody else? What are you doing, you morons? Uh, all right, oh, okay, all right, fine. What's this one, Danelli? What is this? What is this? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> From Bowing into Comic, the majority of Marvel's eternal cast are being race and gender swap from Jack Kirby's original creations. Mm-hmm. So it's basically everything we talked about that we feared. Here, here's, here's. No, this is real. Yep. Yes, I thought this was real. a joke. No, it's real. No. Real. <laughs> they got Selma Hayek to be an Eternal. She's Ajax. And Angelina yeah. Jolie. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god! Look at that woman's face. She has had so much plastic in her. She's practically a real doll now. Oh yeah, um, but uh, you know, no, Angelina is an absolute insane bird. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I, I guess they have. Uh, you have Thena uh, is Angelina Jolie. You got uh, Icarus, uh, of course, for Richard, whoever the hell he is. Uh, Kumala Nanjiani. Yeah, I have no clue who you are. Um, uh, <laughs> no, I am playing Kingo. He's going to play Kingo. Uh, uh, whoever this chick is is going to play. Uh, so that's a race a gender swap right there, uh, mm-hmm. and a race swap. Uh, we got Brian T. Henry is going to play Festus. Uh, this dude doesn't look like he has any build at all, and that's an actual African as well. well they're so woke that they've even gone from uh, they're casting fat people as fit characters now. That's, that's weird. Well done. Yeah. Well done. So Selma's going to be playing a uh, a, a, a gender and uh, race swap as well. Uh, Don Lee, no clue who you are. Uh, he's he going to be playing like Gilgamesh. No. And uh, this little girl is going to be playing Sprite. Yeah, okay. Great job, guys. Great job. He's Everyone incredible. is going to be so excited. So excited. That, running to incredible. the theaters. We're going to... Uh, you really told all of those who white supremacists. You did. You did. You told them. Yeah. 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 Uh, but the thing, you know, the thing that gets me. There's only one person, uh, two people here I recognize: Angelina and Salma. I can't stand in Angelina Jolie. I do like Salma Hayek, though. Uh, I have no clue who anyone else is. Nobody. I mean, and I talk about the most Selma plain Hayek. Jane white dude you could ever find: Richard Madden. Really? He's kind of pretty. Yeah, that, that's kind of the point. He's kind of pretty. He's not pretty. He's not. Uh, he doesn't have anything particular that jumps out. He's so plain because they did this on purpose. I'm sure. This is not animated, right? No. Right. This action. is not voice acting, right? So, I mean, I don't understand Henry though. I mean, uh, 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 Festus is a big, huge, bulking fella, and it's like you got this little, you know, soft you know, like the rest of us. Uh, but um, he's not the right choice. I mean, why didn't you put the Absolute rock in there? The softest looking black man you could find. Yeah. Because they can CGI him to be muscular. I guess if you want to spend that kind of money, they're going to be spending well, a lot of it. money. They did it for Thor, so why not? Yeah, I suppose. Gilgamesh. But oh yeah, I know, dude. Uh, but but it's weird to me because it it feels like these are this is a, a list of voice actors is what I feel I'm feeling, but it's not. It's it's no really. Yes, it's a live action. We even <sighs> talked about it. Yeah, I know, dude. It just doesn't feel that way. I don't know, chat. What do you think, guys? Uh, uh, who doesn't like Salma Hayek? Hubba, hubba, hubba. Well, dude, you know, she had probably the sexiest moment on uh, on screen of all time, dude, from dawn till dusk, mm-hmm. for sure. Oh, uh, things I would do. Oh, dude, she just killed it. She owned that entire room. She owned the entire audience. Uh, good honor. Uh, and I like Salma in general, but uh, Angelina Jolie, I could never stand. She's just a psychopath, man. Mm-hmm. She could t- you can see right there the psycho eyes. Yeah, well, no, she proved it in life, right? So you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I. But the thing is, I don't know any of these other dudes. I don't know anybody else here. Who's this? Ka- this Kumali Nanjiani. It sounds. He's like a, it looks like an Indian, but it sounds like an Italian name. What the hell? I have no clue who these people are. Whatever. 
this is turning into the biggest train wreck of all time. Rock on. You've never watched uh, Silicon Valley, huh? Uh, no, I no, no. Okay. Uh, oh, he's a, no, oh he's, I, yeah, he he's the guy that took over the house. <laughs> no, he's he's just the he's just the um kind of the the guy that gets made fun of a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one that fights with the the really dorky kind of uh, super spurgy uh, tech guy. But he yeah. plays really straight. Like, yeah, he plays like, a really straight character, but he always has crap happen to him, like his car gets broken or destroyed or right. anything. Yeah. Well, I remember I watched like ten minutes of that show, and I was like, "Nope, nope," and I shut it off. So I do apologize. <laughs> And then you, he has see, that uh, that movie that everybody's ripping apart, Stuber, right now, which I thought looked pretty funny, actually. I I don't know. I want to go see it still. <laughs> yeah, no, but, I've heard a lot of people angsting against that. I guess uh, I don't know why I haven't seen it. So yeah, no clue. Yeah, but I don't get this cast. This is not drawing me in at all, at all. And it's like, you know, what's the, they, they, they really have a need uh, to have a balance of female to male. They got to have it. And then they make, they have to make sure they got one of every color, got one of every color. Look at all the different colors and shades of humans. Yeah. Oh my God. There actually is one of each. There is one of each, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they have to make sure. Another thing they can't oh, have no. is having a white man with a white woman. They can't have it. They can't have it. Uh, they have to. There has to be the 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 white man needs to be with some other color race. They can't have him with a white woman. They can't do it. Uh, if you've noticed it these days, they they constantly pushing on that. Every other race can be together, but the whites can't be together, right? It's this full on assault. Uh, you know when people yell at Alex Jones and other people like that, like oh yeah, they're gonna the frogs are gay. Well, well, first of all, there was an incident where the gays, uh, the frogs were being told uh, homosexual actually, uh, but uh, he's absolutely right. And that's the thing that ticks him off about Alex and why they had to get rid of him. For all his antics, he actually reports true stuff. And that's what that's the danger of Alex Jones. Um, they Actually, the Japanese were talking about Alex Jones the other day. I was shocked. Of course, they were completely wrong. They have no clue, but the Japanese never have a clue. Uh, but, um, yeah, this looks, like, uh, this looks like trash, man. I'm, like, not interested at all. It gets worse and worse every time we talk about this, Denali. Yeah, way to oh, shit yeah. on Jack Kirby's legacy, guys. Cheers. Yeah. Good job. With this and then you got, you know, his absolute epic <laughs> cosmic stories. You know, you no. Know, you know, DC's going to say, hold my beer throughout Doom Marvel. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, God. That's a terrifying thought. They've already got the worst possible director and writer they choice do. for you guys. They do. Yeah. So <sighs> it's like the, Kirby's legacy has got to be absolutely destroyed. And maybe that's the intention. Uh, Joshua Hughes says, which one is the main character? Uh, well, I would guess it would have to be Angelina, right? I mean, she's the, she's the big I guy. thought it was Icarus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he's going to be cucked out. Look at him. He's already ready to be cucked. He looks like he's about to be cucked. Look at his face. I'm, I'm waiting. It's coming. Oh, my God. Yeah, right? Oh, whatever. God, these people suck, dude. All right, moving on. Oh, and it gets worse. Uh, remember what I said. <laughs> remember what I said, Jesse. <laughs> Remember what I said. I remember it. Uh, here we go. Uh, I, we got another trailer, De guys. It'll get better, maybe. Yeah. Uh, from Deadline, Watchmen confront white supremacy without grandiose solutions. That's <laughs> damn and live. I can't, I can't even finish. You thought I was crazy. Surely, just because they're a bunch of white men in a church chanting like they're in a cult, surely they can't be representative of the white supremacists of the old right. I told you. Yeah, no, Turtle Rabbit says uh, Alex Jones makes us look bad by acting like a maniac uh, controlled opposition. Yeah, no, he, he is a maniac. He is. But it's a shtick, dude. It's just fun comedy. Uh, but whatever. Um, but uh, I don't know, Todd. You had something you wanted to say about the, this wonderful bit of wonderfulness? How does this guy keep getting jobs? Because he he's woke. lost. N Which not even that. No, it he's, wasn't even he, that he, bad. But when you got to the ending and you were like, what the frick? Mm. You know? And then all the other stuff he's done since has been garbage. Well, uh, he's uh, getting such high profile work. Right. Yeah. But to answer your question, Todd, I'll say the same answer that I uh, mentioned with the first story. He's one of JJ's boys. 
He is. Mm-hmm. That is true. He is one of JJ's. Uh, but um, you know, this little uh, quote he has, I think, is very interesting. Uh, there is no defeating white supremacy. It's not going away. He explained of the hate group that populate the nine-episode Watchmen. Uh, there are no easy answers and grandiose solutions, he added. Nothing this uh, was not going to play out like your standard superhero saga or small uh, or the small or yeah, big screen on great. the smaller big screen. So um, one of the <laughs> most beloved comic book characters of all times into a white supremacist group. Cheers, you dickhead. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Uh, but you know, the thing is, is this is obviously coming off of uh, real world politics, obviously. Uh, and the funny thing is, is it, it seems to me uh, that from what I've been hearing and seeing uh, uh, over the past year, particularly, uh, that if you are not an absolute extreme leftist progressive SJW and you're white, you are a white supremacist. That's what it seems to me. Everybody's a Nazi. Everybody's alt-right. Everybody's a white supremacist, uh, which, of course, is ridiculous. Actual white supremacists are a very, very, very little, teeny, small, 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 small group. Uh, The rest of us are just people. Uh, But that's what the narrative they're pushing constantly is. You're alt-right. You're white supremacist. They yell and scream it all the time. They have no argument for any kind of actual practical conversation. It's just you're a white supremacist. And this this woke little SJW, uh, it has the same thinking. Uh, if you're not, uh, and, and how dare you? It, it's kind of like this. Uh, I remember uh, we we might even talked about it. You remember when the uh, trans uh, tra- the trainees were coming out and they were saying, if you don't want to have a sect with the trainee, you're a sexist Nazi pig. And it's like, well, what if I'm not gay? It doesn't matter. I'm a woman. Well, what if I want to make a baby? <gasps> oh, oh, that's a problem, right? Oh. You need to go to plan uh, parenthood. Well, or, or adoption services, I suppose. Uh, but <clears throat> it's not the point. Uh, these people yeah. are way off their fucking nut, man. And I do apologize. Oh. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Woo! You, you hey, know, it's remember, not chocolate people, mint, Chester. All, all this uh, strife in the world is only caused by 3% of the population. Everybody I'd say it's growing to go. about 9%, but I get what you're saying, George. Yeah. It's the media that makes it, uh, it explodes and makes it look like it's more than it is. Yeah, that's funny. But Brad Pencil Life says, uh, what is, what if we are control alt right? Ha ha ha. That was a control alt delete joke. That was a computer joke. Good on you, dude. Hey, morning, Rusty Day. We're talking about uh, communism. Uh, John Cheddar yeah, says, really- uh, then your sex is reference to wanting a baby. Yeah, right. That's another thing, dude. If you want a baby, you're 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 a Nazi as well because there's too many people in the world already. Okay, all right. Thank you, you people. Crazy. You know I'm, go- really I'm watching a trailer. Huh? I want to I want to talk about this a little bit longer. I want to talk about what makes a really great villain, right? Okay. I feel like that this little cult of Rorschachs could have been great if it had some kind of really. Uh, dominant figurehead of the group right that was really charismatic and cool but when you make them white supremacists or something just you make them irredeemably awful right it's why no one wants to follow a villain about a villain rapist or something, right no one wants like the joker to be a rapist or a racist or something because joke is lovable in his own kind of way but when you give him these irredeemable elements right these just all you don't want to follow this villain anymore he, he it's like ooh, kill him he's he's awful yeah <sighs> well you know, it's it's laziness, it's politic, and uh, you're going to put people off because uh, this is not what the Watchman was. The Watchman was certainly had a poli- had a political uh, point. It most certainly did, uh, but it was done in a clever and well way. You know, Alan did a, a, a great job writing the story. This just seems like it's going to be nonsense, and uh, it's just another get woke, go broke situation because people aren't. It's going to fail. Just like everything else, they're not paying attention. They don't seem to care. They seriously don't seem to care, you know. Yep. Anyway, let's move on to another trailer. I want to. I want something that's going to make make me happy. I don't know if this is going to make me happy. Denali, is this going to make me happy? No. The fanatic. No, but yeah, the fanatic. Probably not. But let's watch it anyway. Fine. Here we go. All right, we're in Hollywood. We're quivering. She's quivering. a picture taker. 
I have no clue what's going on here. He's book an signing. author. A book signing. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right. You are a fan. Without you, it's I'm nothing. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Dunbar. Okay. Is Hunter Dunbar here tonight? Is that John Travolta? <laughs> yes. It looks like John Travolta. Yes. Don't let him do this yes, to me. I'm a fan. I'm a number one fan. Is it difficult to find famous people's houses? I use my all right. star map. All right. Well, I'll hold on a second now. Hold on a second now. This could be interesting. Uh, John Travolta's trying to act. My God. All right. Yeah. Psycho fan you story. You've done that since Pulp Fiction. Right? <laughs> you have to be careful. I don't want you to be accused of stalking. Hey, you can't just come to my private residence He's looking for me. The Listen, pal, I don't know how you found me, but I don't ever want to see you in this neighborhood again. Oh, no. Cat. Short shorts. Hollywood? Oh, misery. It's misery. Yeah. It's misery. It's misery. I just wanted an autograph. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's what? Misery. It is. Yeah. How do you mind? It's just misery. You yeah. must write. <laughs> wow. You know, the fanatic. Uh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, <clears throat> the problem is, the problem you have here uh, is mm -hmm. the fact that uh, misery was absolutely killer movie and that lady i can't think of her name offhand but she killed that dude she was wonderful in that movie. Yes, yeah, she was Chappie wonderful Bates. in that movie you are you are stepping into very large shoes mr travolta wow mm, i don't know what do you guys think uh, i i liked the premise when i heard about it but i hadn't watched the trailer yet so uh yeah, that, that shot when they showed him tied up and then immediately went to his feet. I was just waiting for the sledgehammer. So, yeah. I right, guess, me too. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he's trying to kind of channel a Christoph Waltz look, <laughs> but like yeah. really, really bad. I, you never know. It could be good. It could be good. Uh, he's one of those actors that he needs a great director behind him. Uh, and then you can get some good stuff out of him. Um, uh, I don't know who the director here is offhand. Uh, Oscar Generale, it says, I guess, or no, they're producers. I don't know who's making it, uh, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's ooh, it's tough to tap into that misery thing though, because that's uh, the, that's really hard uh, uh, hard to follow, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Kathy Bates. Yeah, yeah, yeah Eric. Uh, hey, Fred Durst. Yeah, Fred Durst. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Vinny Barbarino, you're showing your age there, Eric. I used to love Welcome Back, Carter. That was a great show, man. Is MTV sponsoring this movie? <laughs> uh, directed by Fred uh, Durst. Uh, Durst, uh, uh, Mayor McCheese says, "Do I do I know Fred Durst? Why does that sound familiar?" From Limp Biscuit. <laughs> Lim really? Yeah. That. Oh my goodness, that's interesting. Uh. I don't know. We'll we'll check it out. We'll see what happens when it uh, when it comes out. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm interested though. But I'm like, Whew, that's a big bite at the apple there, Mr. Travolta. But um, he needs a win though. Uh, he does need a win. It's been a while for him, you know. And I wish he'd just come out and just tell the world he's gay. You would think he would do it in these day this day and age because it's so open and free. But uh, he just I don't know. He's afraid, I suppose. But um, we'll see. Uh, last story of the day, guys. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. What I predicted long time ago. Uh oh, yeah. long time ago. <laughs> Star Wars: The Rise of the uh, Skywalker Theory predicts horrible time travel story, and I mentioned that, and I mentioned that we did way back when. If you remember, though, uh, these guys, the Red Letter Man, I love these guys. These yeah. are awesome. Uh, but if you um, if you think about it, though, uh, there's only two ways for uh, JJ to fix the situation. Either it was a dream or time travel, right? Uh, and we mm. talked about that. <laughs> Many other people have talked about it as well. But it's like, that's the only way to solve the situation, man. 
Um, you know, I would have preferred they just go with a dream thing and they could have had uh, Mark, uh, you know, Luke wake up from a dream. Uh, he saw it was a is a prophetic dream. He talks to Yoda and he has to go stop what happened in the second movie from happening. And it would have been fun because it would have been a departure from the nonsense of the simply let's remake the original trilogy with that they were doing. And they keep doing this crap. Because the prequels were basically a reversal of a remake of the original three. Uh, and it's like, they're doing it again. It's like, what the hell's wrong with you? If they had done the dream thing, they would at least took us on a different arc. It would have been different. This right here, they just got to go run through time and try to fix stuff, uh, I'm guessing. But um, what do you think they're going to try to fix, though? What's the biggest thing they need to fix, uh, Booster? And so, uh, and so I still then. haven't seen The Force Awakens. I just oh. don't care about Star Wars. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> You're the smart one. Here. And yeah, I probably I saved myself a lot of grief by not getting a vest on this shit. <laughs> uh, Brad from Pencil Life says, Chester, you know he is gay. Uh, how so? Did you have some personal information we should know about? Uh, first of all, everybody knows John Travolta is gay. Uh, he, we, we've known this for decades. Uh, he just refuses to come out and accept it for some reason. No one cares, but he seems to think everyone does care. Uh, I, I was Actually, that was sympathy from me. I wasn't being harsh on him. I think he should just come out, especially in this day and age. It's the time to do so, but he, he's, he's afraid to do so, I guess. Everyone knows this, Brett. This is not um, a secret information. Uh, Ray being born. <laughs> No luck there, dude. No luck. Uh, and I'm sure Rose Tico is going to be very important as well. Um, there was never a Highlander 2, only Highlander and Highlander 3. Oh, there you go. They're going to go save Rose's sister, you see. Would you say? Say that again? <laughs> Maybe they'll go save Rose's sister. Oh, that would be because she was the pretty one. That would have been yeah. nice. Yeah, that would have been nice. Uh, but uh, no, I think... Um, yeah, we, uh, we expected this would happen. Uh, I really wish they went with a dream one because I think it would have been fun. But um, no, all right. And you know how they go do it too. Uh, that the, the uh, you see that the um, uh, they're on the planet there where uh, uh, where's the one with the Ewoks are on? What's the name? Endor. Uh, they're yeah. on the ocean of Endor, and the uh, the uh, the second uh, Death Star is lying in the ocean. They got to go in there, and something inside there, like the engine or something, is going to allow them to time travel. That's that's what it's going to be, I think. You don't think? Yeah, so? that's a that's a big MacGuffin. I don't think it's indoor. I think that was Yavin. They said, but anyways, uh, moving on. It's about oh, so it's, it's going to be first about Death the, Star. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. the first Death Star was powered by Kyver Crystal. Which yeah, which powers they, the lightsaber. They yeah, they 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 also covered that in the uh, Rogue One. Yeah, that's right. Uh, mm -hmm. That's interesting. I thought it was the second one, but all right. Um. Forget the past. Kill it if you have to. Uh, yeah, no, that's what they like to do. Uh, they told you their politics. Anyway, ugh, enough of this. Enough, I say. Enough. All right. Well, well, we ended up with a big crew in here. Uh, thanks for coming in, Pixel and uh, and Todd. Uh, George is uh, very quiet there for a while. Uh, but uh, we do appreciate you guys coming in. And we appreciate all you guys sticking with us, too. I do need to jump out of here, though. Uh, I am going to be... Uh, we're going to have the... Uh, uh, drone recorded fan edition here in 52 minutes, uh, where we're having Mary Sue on, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> so definitely come back and check that out, but I need to get out of here so I can go set up the next show. Uh, but, uh, nevertheless, anybody have anything they want to say before we close it out? Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. People keep saying Hong Kong recently. What, what is that all about? What's that meme? Hong Kong. What's that meme? So we're, uh, um, it's he did that to the guy's nose in Karate Kid. Yeah, but why is it's it? A, I've seen everyone it's, it's mention a it. New recently. meme called. It's a new meme. Just it's called Clown World. Basically, it's instead of just letting any, any anything any of the uh, weird leftist shit bother you, you just say Hong Kong because these people are absolute clowns. Oh, it's a it's a variation on the NPC mm -hmm. meme. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's not wrong. <laughs> anyway excuse me uh all right then well uh thank you guys for coming in uh we had a lot of fun here with you guys today I had some cool news some interesting trailers and uh some typical nonsense but uh that's the point come over here and have a laugh at it right uh but uh other than that uh thank you very much for coming in pixel and todd and george and denali and booster and all of you as well but uh it is time to give it over to denali and let him take us out of here man 
All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us for Comics Twos today. We won't be here tomorrow. This is tomorrow will be our off day. Yep. Join us on Saturday for at 8 p.m. Eastern for Fan Speak, and then Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern for TFT, where we'll be talking about Walt Disney. Don't miss yeah, it. That's going to be fun. But uh, Tim Lim's coming uh, in for that. Yeah, we struck a nerve on that one. We did. <laughs> But as always, your perception is shaped by your reality, so always make it a good one. Namaste. Namaste. All right. Later, guys. Aloha. Later.